good evening everyone myself gautam sharma i hope uh, you all are well so i am here to solve uh, this question number 2.8 so what uh, actually question number 2.8 say is this please read this a ball is being uh, dropped from a height of 90 meter on a floor so let us consider let us consider there is a ball okay there is a ball which is at a height of 90 meter right which is at a height of 90 meter right now it is being dropped uh, on the floor after at each collision with the floor the ball loses 1/10 of its speed so as soon as this ball is coming so definitely it has some velocity v and after it strikes so it re rebounds with the some velocity but that velocity of rebound is 1 by Uh, nine by ten times of the velocity which is it has acquired, okay? Because one tenth of its speed is, is lost. It means that nine ten of the velocity has been retained, right? Now plot the speed time graph on of its motion between t time t is equal to zero to time t is equal to twelve seconds. So let us consider this is a time t is equal to zero second. So g from starting from zero, so let us start from time t is equal to zero. We need to plot the graph up to twelve second. Okay. So now let us consider initially velocity is zero. Final velocity we don't know. Height that is distance travel is ninety meter. Okay. And acceleration due to gravity that is a is equal to g is equal to nine point eight meter per second square. Now by using this formula, can we get final velocity? velocity v is the velocity at which the ball strike the ball strike the ground strike the ground so how you will do this so v is equal to u plus at uh, sorry uh, this won't work first of all we need to uh, use this formula v square is equal to so we need to use this formula b square is equal to u square plus 2 as so as u square is 0 square plus 2 into minus 9 point uh, no uh, it is not minus 9 point because it is going in the same direction so plus 9 point 8 into 90 okay so uh, when you calculate this so how much it is coming so if you will calculate this so this will be 90 into 9.8 9.9.8 into 2. So this will be 1764. This is equal to b square. So b will be root under root under 1764. So you will get 42 meter per second. Now the time taken to descend is how much? Now the time taken to descend. Time is how much? We require time. So can we use b is equal to u plus at? So if you will use this b is equal to u plus at, so this will be 42 is equal to initial velocity zero, and plus acceleration is 9.8 into time t. So by this we will get time t. So if you will divide 42, uh, if you will divide 42 by uh, divided by 9.8, so we are getting 4.29. Second approximately, okay. So it means that it starts here. If I am uh, showing a graph, so this is your speed, and this is your time graph, time graph. So as soon as this ball comes, so its speed increases. So its speed from zero to it has been increased to forty-two uh, meter per second. So let us consider that this is your forty-two meter per second, right? So at time what is the time taken so let us consider this is your 4.29 second so 4.29 second time is taken so uh 4.8 took so 4.9 uh, 29 second right so we can uh, plot a graph like this okay so after that what what is happening after that what is happening after that it will rebound okay so first case it has been solved right now we will go for second case so first uh, first case first case our graph is being shown here in a first case so this will be 
it will look like like this right so this is your 42 meter per second and uh, this is your 4.229 second this is your 0 second time is equal to 0 and it is your speed speed time graph okay now as soon as ball has been dropped so what will happen it will rebound so what is the velocity of rebound so as you will as you will see the position every time it will lose 1 by 10th of the uh, speed so as it rebounds so velocity of rebound will be 9 by 10th of the um, the velocity with which it is striking why i am doing so because it is losing 1 by 10th of the 1 by 10th of the initial velocity is losed so velocity which um, of uh, uh, velocity which retained in a reverse direction is what 9.9 uh, 9 by 10 meter mm, 9 by 10 of the initial velocity so it is your 9 by 10 into 42 so if you will do uh, 9 if you will do uh, multiply it by uh, 9 divided by 10 so finally velocity in which uh, in upward direction you will get 37.8 meter per second okay. okay so this is the velocity okay and now after this velocity so it will go in upward direction so upward motion and finally finally it will uh, finally it will finally it will reach to the peak where final velocity is zero so before this we should uh, try to draw draw this figure uh, let us uh, rub this now see after this what happens speed suddenly decrease so we cannot tell that because within that time only speed is decreasing so this is the let us uh, consider this is the time at which speed is decreased to 37.8 meter per second okay so this is what this is the position okay so initially it went and uh, when uh, body is coming down its speed increases to 42 meter per second after that suddenly its speed decrease to g and changes in a reverse direction it changes to 37.8 meter per second right okay now if if you will uh, tell velocity though uh, then uh, it will definitely uh, velocity then we have to make it negative but we are talking about speed so speed is not negative so that's why we are using this uh, only okay now from here what we need to do what we need to do see as it goes up so final velocity is zero initial velocity is 37.8 meter per second okay it's not uh, acceleration due to gravity is your minus 9.8 so what is the time taken to uh, reach the above so v is equal to u plus at so final velocity is 0 initial velocity is 0 37.8 meter per second minus 9.8 into time t so how much it will be it will be around 3.886 so time will be around 3.86 so as soon as As soon as uh, time will um, become around 3.86 to reach and become a velocity of 0 right so at 3.8 uh, 86 after 3.86 second so its velocity will become 0 so if it is earlier it was a uh, uh, time was 4.29 so earlier is about 5 4.29 plus 3.86 if uh, both time will be added so how much it will be so it is your 8.15 second so 8.185 in a timeline speed time graph if you will so so this will become like this okay so in uh, first of all it will uh, increase then suddenly decrease and after that it will decrease to zero okay and what happened 
and what happened the uh, speed become zero then again it will start what is speed is this object will come down right so if this object will come down so what will be the time taken see here time of ascent time as an object is going up so time of ascent is your how much 3.86 3.86 now at the same time time of descent is how much time of descent is your time of descent is your 3.86 so time finally we need to add here 8.15 plus 3.86 so if you will add uh, this so how much it will be so it will be approximately um, 12.0 so let us consider this is your 12.0 Zero one second. So if twelve second, so when it will come down, so what will be the final? Um, when it will come down, so what will be the final um, velocity before it strikes the it strikes the ground? So we need to find final velocity. So v is equal to u plus a t. So see here, uh, initially velocity is how much? Uh, initial velocity is zero plus acceleration is your nine point eight into time taken. Time taken is how much? Time taken is how much? Three point eight uh, six. So if you will do this, so finally velocity you will get that velocity with the same velocity it will uh, strike here. So that is thirty seven point. Uh, uh, if you will multiply this three point eight six. So please multiply this three point three point eight six into uh, into nine point nine point eight. So you will get thirty seven point eight. So definitely, again, it will reach here. This uh, graph will reach here. Okay. So till this, uh, till this, after this, what will happen? After this, suddenly it will fall down. Okay. So this is uh, this is what your graph will look like. Okay. So in this way, you will able to uh, do this. So this is the final graph. so again i am telling you when a ball is coming down so velocity increase see here velocity increased okay so if i will mark here okay from which color i will mark see uh, red color okay red, red color it will so when when body is coming down so it, our velocity increased in upward direction at, at a 42 meter per second and it's uh, um, 42 meter per second at the time 4.29 After that, what happens? Suddenly, suddenly become zero and rebound with the thirty-seven point eight meter per second. So this is what the velocity is at the within a fraction of second. After that, what is happening? After that, it goes up, but it unable to go in same distance because because uh, its energy uh, its speed reduced to ninth by tenth of the initial speed. So after that, what happens? After that, it reaches the same height. after that it reaches the same height and become zero see here after the certain period of a time it reaches the same uh, height and its velocity become zero if again it will come down so it will reach with the same velocity because uh, see here if you are throwing any object with the 25 meter per second and it will go up the same its speed with the same speed here it will um, come again so if you if an uh, ball is going with the 37 meter 0.8 meter per second and become zero at the highest point again its speed becomes 37.8 meter and this is the point where our time is your 12.01 second so finally you will able to find that this is the this is the required graph this is required graph i hope you have understood now right so if you have any type of query so please ask me in the comment section so that i will able to explain you more